Hey YouTube, this is Andrew here from Macanorm's YouTube channel. I'm just going to show you how I colour um, some of my white fondant to get some coloured fondant. I've got here my um, mauve coloured fondant. I've just dyed that with some food colour that I've got here. Um, I'm going to show you from um, how I started with the white fondant. Okay, so with your white fondant, you just knead it up. You can get fondant from your local supermarket um, in Australia. You can find it in Woolies. I think there's also, you can get it in Coles as well in the cake decorating section. I think the brand they've got there is um, Orchards or something. Anyway, don't get it confused with the almond paste. That's a different um, type of icing to, to fondant icing. Okay, so once you knead it up, your hands will make the, the dough or the fondant, sorry, um, sticky because the heat in your hand will warm it up and um, make it sticky. Fondant reacts to heat and, and um, the texture changes slightly the more you knead it up. Sorry, my camera's a bit out of focus there. Okay, that's better. Okay, now all you're gonna do is add in a drop of food color. Since this is a small quantity of fondant, I'm not gonna add too much, I don't wanna overdo it. This is a specialty um, food color that I got from a, a cake decorating supply shop. You can um, find basic colors from your supermarket in the cake decorating aisle as well, um, like your primary colors, so red, yellow, green, and blue. And you can probably mix up colors with those um, combination, but if you, looking for something specific, um, you, you probably can source it online or like I said from a local um, cake decorating supply, supplier. Okay, so I'm just gonna knead this through. I'm trying not to get the dye in my hand and I'm not doing a very good job of it right now, but um, yeah, normally I, I try to not get it on my fingers as I'm kneading it through, but um, I'm not having too much success right now. So um, anyway, so you just mix it through If you want it um, a deeper colour, you just need to add a little bit more dye. But just remember, the more dye you add, because this one's a liquid colour, the more sticky it's actually going to get. So if you really want an intense colour, you might want to go with the, the food dyes that are like a powder, a powder or a gel. Okay, so um, colour's coming through here. It is quite sticky because I'm working it with my hands. Okay, if you haven't already subscribed to um, my channel at Mackinac, please do for more cake related videos and tips. And um, yeah, I love feedback back as well. So um, I love hearing your comments and your suggestions and your questions. I try to answer whenever I can. Um, sometimes it does take me a while to get back to you guys, but um, yeah, I, uh, I do what I can. Okay, so that's coming through now. Um, okay, so it's roughly um, the tone that I want. And all you're gonna do now is wrap it up in cling wrap and um, ready for you guys to use. Um, it is quite sticky. If you're gonna use this straight away, make sure you, you have your, your corn flour dusting bag to dust your surface and um, your hands. So um, it'll save you from really sticky fondant. Okay, thanks again guys for watching and um, you guys have a great day. Bye for now.